In the annals of the mysterious, few names echo as loudly as that of Nostradamus. Michel de Nostradam, better known as Nostradamus, was a French physician, astrologer, and seer born in the early 16th century. His remarkable life was marked by a series of events and experiences that led him down the path of prophecy. But who was this enigmatic figure, really? Nostradamus was more than just a man with a penchant for the stars. He was a scholar of the ancient world, a master of medical arts, and a courageous practitioner who fought against the Black Plague. However, what set him apart was his uncanny ability to look beyond the veil of time. In his book, Les Prophéties, he penned down over a thousand quatrains, four-line poems, that allegedly predict future events. These predictions, shrouded in a mix of French, Latin, Greek, and Occitan, are drenched in symbolism and cryptic references, making them a hotbed of interpretations. Over centuries, people have claimed that Nostradamus accurately predicted many significant historical events, from the rise of Napoleon and Hitler to the 9-11 terrorist attacks. Critics, however, argue that his verses are so vague and ambiguous that they can be twisted to fit any event after it has occurred, regardless of the debates surrounding their validity. The prophecies of Nostradamus have captivated the minds of the curious and the fearful alike. They have become a beacon of intrigue in our collective consciousness, a testament to our fascination with the unknown. The allure of Nostradamus lies not just in his predictions, but in the mystery that surrounds him. His life, his works, and his legacy continue to enthrall us, leading us on a quest to decipher the cryptic verses that could hold the keys to our future. As we stand on the cusp of 2024, we delve into his cryptic verses to unearth what might be in store for us. Nostradamus, in his obscure style, penned down his prophecies in quatrains, four-line verses. The words he chose, the images he conjured, they all paint a vivid picture of a future that's both fascinating and terrifying. Let's delve into the first few prophecies. One reads, The lost thing is discovered, hidden for many centuries. Could this be a reference to some ancient artifact or knowledge that we'll uncover in the year 2024? Or perhaps it's a hint at a truth about ourselves, about humanity, that we've long forgotten or chosen to ignore. Another prophecy states, Pastor will ascend with a sector to the sky. This one's a bit more cryptic. The pastor could symbolize a religious figure, or maybe a leader of sorts, while the sector might represent power or influence. Is Nostradamus predicting a rise to power or a spiritual ascension? Or could it be a technological breakthrough? A leap towards the stars, perhaps. Then we have, the Great One will fall by lightning in the day. Who is this Great One, and what does their fall signify? Is it a literal fall, a death, or a downfall in power? And why by lightning? Is it a sudden event, unexpected and swift? Or could lightning represent something else, like a technological mishap or a swift act of justice? Finally, an emperor will be born near Italy. Now this one's quite direct. It seems to predict the birth of a powerful figure near Italy. But what kind of power are we talking about? Political, spiritual, or perhaps something else entirely? As you can see, the interpretations are as varied as they are intriguing. Each quatrain holds multiple meanings, and each interpretation can lead us down a different path. That's the beauty and the mystery of Nostradamus's prophecies. They're like a mirror, reflecting our hopes, our fears, and our fascination with the unknown. As we tread further into the labyrinth of his words, the predictions grow more ominous. But remember, these are just predictions. The future is not set in stone, and we hold the power to shape it. So let's step forward with curiosity, courage, and an open mind. The heart of his prophecies, it seems, beats with a dark rhythm, foretelling of turbulence and turmoil. As we delve deeper into the quatrains of Nostradamus, we find ourselves on the precipice of a future that is fraught with uncertainty, a future that may be veiled in the shadows of the unknown. Nostradamus, a man of many mysteries, has given us cryptic clues to decipher. His predictions for the year 2024 suggest a time of upheaval and change. The political landscape, it seems, may bear the brunt of these changes. The potential for conflict, for power shifts, and for the rise and fall of leaders is palpable in his words. 
It's as if the very structure of our societies could be reshaped, transformed in ways that we can only begin to fathom. But the implications of Nostradamus's prophecies go beyond the political. The environment, too, is a recurring theme in his writings. He speaks of natural disasters, of the earth crying out in pain, of a world on the brink of environmental catastrophe. His words paint a picture of a planet teetering on the edge, a planet that needs our attention, our care, and our respect. And then, there are the societal implications. Nostradamus hints at a future where humanity is tested to its limits, where the fabric of our communities is stretched thin. It's a future where we may be forced to confront our deepest fears and insecurities, to question our values and our beliefs, to reassess what it truly means to be human. Yet, as we navigate through these dark waters, we must remember that Nostradamus' prophecies are not set in stone. They are warnings, not certainties. They are a call to action, a plea for us to change our course, to steer our ship towards safer shores. And so, as we stare into the heart of darkness, we must also look for the light. For Nostradamus, despite his bleak predictions, also speaks of hope. He speaks of resilience, of humanity's ability to adapt and overcome, of our capacity for love and compassion. Yet amidst the darkness, Nostradamus hints at glimmers of hope, of possible salvation. In the final verses of his prophecies, Nostradamus paints an intricate picture of the future. As we delve into the last set of forecasts for 2024, we encounter a realm of possibilities, a labyrinth of interpretations. These predictions, cloaked in cryptic language and allegory, hint at significant shifts in various facets of our lives and society. One of the most striking predictions revolves around the idea of a great shaking. While this could be interpreted literally as a seismic event, it's possible that Nostradamus was referring to a figurative shaking, a societal or political upheaval that would unsettle the world as we know it. Another prophecy speaks of an eclipse of the sun. In the past, eclipses have been associated with major events and shifts. This could potentially symbolize a dark period in human history, a time of great trials and tribulations, or it could signify the obscuring of truth and knowledge, a period of confusion and misinformation. Nostradamus also alludes to a silver ship crossing the sky of flame. This could be a reference to advancements in technology and space exploration, or perhaps a warning of a catastrophic event involving such an endeavor. Reading these predictions, we're presented with an array of potential outcomes. They could signify great strides in technology and human achievement, or they might be warning us of impending upheaval and disaster. The beauty of Nostradamus' prophecies lies in their ambiguity. They are a mirror reflecting our deepest hopes and fears, our wildest dreams and darkest nightmares. But remember, these predictions are not set in stone. They are a glimpse into one possible future, a future that is shaped by our actions and decisions. We hold the power to mold our destiny, to steer our course towards hope and progress, or towards chaos and destruction. These cryptic words, they leave us wondering, pondering the shape of things to come. The prophecies of Nostradamus, they are not merely predictions, but reflections of possible futures. As we delve deeper into the labyrinth of these cryptic quatrains, we find ourselves entangled in a web of predictions, each more intriguing than the last. The main prophecies we've discussed today hint at a series of events that could, if they come to pass, shape the course of the year 2024 in unforeseen ways. First, there's the prophecy of the great king of terror, a figure whose emergence could lead to widespread fear and upheaval. This could be a powerful world leader, a catastrophic event, or even a groundbreaking scientific discovery that challenges our understanding of reality. Next, the prophecy of fire from the center of the earth suggests a potential natural disaster. This could be interpreted as a volcanic eruption, an earthquake, or perhaps a significant shift in our planet's core. And finally, the prophecy of the eagle and the lion at war could imply a conflict between two powerful entities. This could be nations, corporations, or ideologies engaged in a struggle for supremacy. These prophecies, however, are not set in stone. 
They are interpretations, possibilities based on centuries-old writings that are shrouded in mystery. They represent potential paths that the future could take, but they don't dictate what will happen. It's crucial to remember that the future is not predetermined. We have the power to shape our destiny, to choose the path we walk. The prophecies of Nostradamus serve as a reminder that our actions today have far-reaching consequences, that our choices matter, and that we have a responsibility to consider the potential outcomes of our decisions. As we step into 2024, we do so with an awareness of these possibilities, carrying the wisdom of Nostradamus into the unknown.